Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Now that a new battlefield is basically confirmed for 2025, I wanted to ask myself the question, can the new battlefield be worse than what we had at launch with 2042? The short answer is no. I don't think it will be worse, but I want to go into detail why I think it won't be worse. Now, I will start by talking about actually the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox equivalent. Since Battlefield 2042 also got developed for these consoles because EA just wanted money they didn't want to make anything for the player they just wanted more money so they tried to release it on the older gen consoles and well releasing a game on older consoles takes manpower and resources away from the main game making the game worse and since this won't happen for the next battlefield or at least i hope this won't happen i would be very surprised if we got a game like battlefield in 2025 where they say oh yeah by the way you can also play it on your ps4 so since this probably won't happen i think this alone saves a lot of resources the next Next thing is, I also think DICE and EA learned the lesson with extra modes. Like in Battlefield 5 we had Firestorm, now in Battlefield 2042 we had Portal and Hazard Zone and every time you develop those modes they take a lot of resources away and usually they end up being wasted especially for like hazard zone this mode flopped so hard i think after like two weeks the mode had less than 700 active players that's why they shifted it and i think this basically shows them that the battlefield community is not interested in stuff like a battle royale so i at least hope they learned their lesson and won't try to do battlefield battle royale version 3 in the next battlefield game and if they don't do it this means we have more resources for the base game Make the game better but those those were just factors around the game now let's talk about some things in game they probably won't do and make the game better first of all we have that the max will probably go back to 64 players 128 players were more like a advertising move it was a gimmick but developing a game for 128 players comes with a lot of problems for example the performance was really bad since your pc and console had to render so much map and space then the tick rate got shafted a bit i think we went from 60 hertz servers back to 45 hertz servers making stuff like hit rake and the overall feeling of the game bad and we also had map events like a tornado that literally killed your fps on pc i think it was the same for console and since dice basically said that going forward i think with season 5 they will only do 64 player maps instead of 128 player maps and those maps we had redacted into season 5 maps and i would consider redacted the best map in 2042 and the uh, season 5 map also very high up at least compared to other maps in battlefield 2042 i think them going back to 64 players will make the game a lot better since i think the maps were one of battlefield 2042's biggest problems and launch now if you made it this far into the video consider leaving a like and subscribe for future battlefield content another thing i think that is learned and we will have in the next game will be what they called legacy features you know like a scoreboard squad management proper player stats i think those were also points that made the game really bad to play and a lot of players probably also dropped out since not having a scoreboard not having all chat voice chat squad management i think those are all the things that are very important to a battlefield game and not having them at least made a few players leave it might not be have the biggest impact on the game but i would definitely say a big part of the battlefield community said yeah those features if they are not in the game it's not really worth playing the game so i think dice going forward will make sure those things are in the game the next thing i predict or i think dice will do is to shaft specialists and bring back your normal faceless soldiers with normal classes so we get more of the old school basic battlefield team play and gameplay and not like this call of duty clone we had with 2042 for quite a while i will probably make a video in the future talking about how i would like to see specialists evolve from 2042 since i don't really have a problem with specialists in general especially when you look at like how ea and stuff wants to make money but i will go into detail with this in a future video now if we put all of those things together i think if they just do those things they don't even have to do them well if they just exist the game will be be miles better than what Battlefield 2042 was at launch or even what Battlefield 2042 is now but I now want to talk about a few smaller things that might add to the next game so something that comes up a lot at least I saw a few videos on YouTube over the last few days and weeks was the discussion between live service or a premium model so do we continue live service where we get a new season every three months or do we go back to paid premium where you get like map packs and weapon packs and stuff i will make my own video on what i think they should do and why i think those things but i think we will probably have another live service game but i hope this time they learned that doing one or two maps 
and three guns is not enough for the next Battlefield game. Now, DICE hired a lot of people for campaign and honestly, when they first announced Battlefield 2042 that it had no campaign, I was actually very happy about it since I'm not a campaign player and not having a campaign means more resources for the multiplayer game. But I think if the next Battlefield has a decent campaign, this can help out the game quite a lot. So these were basically my reasons why I think the next Battlefield game will be better than 2042, even if all those things are not getting implemented perfectly right away but I would like to hear from you what do you think do you think the next Battlefield game will be better or worse than 2042 let me know down in the comments below anyways if you stay to the end consider leaving a like and subscribing for future Battlefield content since you seem to obviously enjoy this content otherwise you wouldn't be here anymore thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one